The focus really is on staying cool. But in parts of Boston, that is especially difficult. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Brighton to show us why. Beth? Well, this is what you're supposed to be able to do on a hot summer day. Get some relief and, well, do a little splashing around. But first, you have to find one like this that is open. Here in Boston and beyond, that can be challenging for a variety of reasons that don't seem to have an easy fix. Closed, closed, and not even a drip from these sprinklers with the sun blazing. A day like this, I would love to come over and, and swim in the pool on a little lunch break. Because Clarity Pool in Charlestown is one of 10 City of Boston pools closed due to staffing or maintenance issues, even as the city declares a heat emergency. <laughs> Kevin King brought his niece to Ronan Park in Dorchester, thinking they could get a run through the splash pad he didn't know was closed. It's kind of lazy. They know it's a park. It's hot. It's summer, you know. Everyone wants to play. By mid-morning, a maintenance person was seen taking a look at the piping, but no immediate repairs. The issue of closed pools and pads and where they are has frustrated city councilor Erin Murphy. Some neighborhoods have a much higher use rate. They were deploying staff there, which made sense on the surface, but we would definitely have to dig deeper. Beyond the city, high bacteria levels at Houghton's Pond in Milton are keeping swimmers out of the water, even as they arrive for what they thought was a beach day. Did you know when you got here you wouldn't be able to swim? No, I did not know. How disappointing. <laughs> uh, a lot, because it's almost 100 degrees today. It left the lifeguards with little more to do than post the warning flag, which didn't sit well with those who could only bake in the sun. Love the water, you know, and I just is so hot and humid. And Wenda Alesma agrees as she walks away from the closed clarity pool with her daughter. There's always a financial thing, a fi you know, financial excuse or just a reason to show that they're doing something, but really in reality, this will be probably sitting here for about another year or two. And that's leaving many hoping that the maintenance can be stepped up. Now, the city will only say there are 15 cooling centers and 64 splash pads like this one that are open to take advantage of. Reporting live from Brighton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth. Well, the national weather.